In a moment from now, I'm going to take you live to Chennai, where the man leading the ministry in charge of space and technology, Dr. Jitendar Singh, will be joining us live to talk about uh, this mission. He was at the Shri Harikota Launch Center when Chandrayaan 3 took off. But before that, I want to spend a moment on the history of India's space research. Aryabhat, the first known Indian astronomer and the inventor of zero, had for the first time explained the solar and lunar eclipses. India today is one of the elite space explorers. Here's a report from the India Today archives on this country's space mission. Modern space research started in India in the 1920s. But it would take decades before the institutionalized probe into space-related activities would gain nationwide attention. The first milestone in Indian space exploration was the establishment of the Indian National Committee for Space Research, or INCOSPAR, by then Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, along with scientist Vikram Sarabhai, in the year 1962. ISRO started, as you know, with the vision of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, and he thought this vantage point of space could have a very, very interesting use for this country. So he thought that we should build this capability because India is a developing country at that time, 1960s, I am talking of early 60s. And obviously the, our developmental needs were very different from the United States and the then Soviet Union. Thumba in those days used to be a tiny village on the outskirts of Tiruvananthapuram in Kerala. But Thumba was different from other fishing villages in the area. Then he found that there is this Thumba equatorial region, which is a geomagnetic equator, which passes over that land. And because of that, there are some very interesting physical phenomena in the atmosphere and ionosphere above. So he thought as a first step, let us explore this with rockets. It was very close to the Earth's magnetic equator and so Vikram Sarabhai met the local bishop Reverend Peter Bernard Pereira to set up his dream space research center in the village. The fishing community in Thumba was primarily Christian and the Reverend offered the church for the sake of science. Thus began space research of modern India at St. Mary Magdalene Church which was rechristened as Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launch Station or TERLS. The prayer room of the church became the laboratory of APJ Abdul Kalam. It was later named the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Vikram Sarabhai telling people after a few years, okay, India has to develop a capability to launch satellites. Why? Because using the satellites, India can leapfrog in terms of development in the field of education, communication, and telemedicine, etc., etc. In other words, you don't have to build the ground infrastructure which other nations built. And then when the satellite came, they had to change everything. Whereas we have almost a virgin uh, land where we can straight away go to the higher technology. So he sold the idea of satellite development and uh, satellite launching for the purpose of national development. INCOSPAR launched India's first rocket in 1963 from Thumba. By the end of the 60s, INCOSPAR grew to become the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO. Around the same time, the Government of India formed the Space Commission for Policy Formulation. Research and execution of space-related enterprises got a boost in the country. ISRO improvised and developed technology, launching several indigenously created vehicles into space. From the modest start of launching Aryabhatta, the first Indian satellite using a Russian rocket in 1975, India has certainly come a long way. 
Aryabhatta provided India with the basis of learning satellite technology and design. Same year, ISRO along with NASA developed means of using space communication system for TV broadcasting that was acronym as SITE or the Satellite Instructional Television Experiment. The one-year program covering Indian villages and districts was to experiment usage of satellite broadcasting for mass education. For the next two years, 1976 and 77, ISRO launched Satellite Telecommunication Experiments Project or the STEP as a sequel to SITE. It used satellite technology to enhance domestic communication. As the 1970s wound up, ISRO was emboldened to create the first indigenous satellite vehicle that was launched from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh in 1980. SLV-3 successfully placed the Rohini satellite or the RS-1 in orbit, making India only the sixth member of an exclusive club of space-firing nations. But it was time for ISRO to move a step forward with its satellite broadcast program. Having experimented with SIGHT and STEP, the Indian National Satellite System or the INSAT was commissioned in 1983 to work on broadcasting, telecommunication, meteorology and rescue operations. Over the next few decades, ISRO successfully propelled a number of INSAT satellites into space, making it the largest domestic communication system in the Asia-Pacific region. It was time for an attempt to make manned mission to space. The first Indo-Soviet manned space mission was launched in 1984. Air Force test pilots Rakesh Sharma and Ravish Malhotra went through rigorous trainings for almost two years in the Soviet Union. Finally, Rakesh Sharma was chosen to be the first Indian to go up into space. 